Meanwhile, President Bola Tinubu has received support from the people of Niger Delta region in his fight against all theft in order to improve the nation's economy. A Niger Delta activist, Asari Dokobo, gave the support assurance when he visited the president in Abuja. Dokobo stated that the resources in the region was being hijacked by a few Nigerians and their cohorts against the greatest interest of the citizens. 99% of oil theft can be traced to the Nigerian military, the Army and the Navy especially. The Army and the Navy intimidate the civil defense who are by status the people who are supposed to uh, guard these pipelines. And there are notorious naval commanders who are known to be kingpins of these bunkering activities. Even if they give one billion contracts to everybody in the Niger Delta, because these military men are harmed from the army and the navy, nothing will happen. The president has promised to take decisive action to make sure that this does not continue. They have migrated from the pipeline and have gone directly to the oil well heads. They set up half-hazard facilities they call local refinery, artisan refinery. This is crime against humanity. Could ensure that the wealth of the people are used for the common good of the region and its people. The people doing the bunkering are not our people because they cannot bring those big supercargo uh, ships, vessels that are, are almost the size of this villa. They don't have the resources. There are powerful cabals far more stronger, who think they are far more stronger. But they've met their match. And their match is President Ahmad Bala Tinibu. He is going to bring all of them. He's going to expose all of them. And many people will be marching to Kujeb and Krikri prison. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.